One of the most interesting things about the HP Omen 15 is that it's one of the few gaming laptops available with both Intel and AMD processors. With the upturn of Ryzen CPUs, it was easily going to be my pick out of the diverse bunch available. Let's explore why the 2020 HP Omen 15 may be the most universal gaming laptop. The Omen 15 measures at 35.7cm wide, 23.9cm long and 2.26cm tall. The laptop weighs about 2.1kg and the charger a further 600g. The top and bottom panels are made of plastic, but the keyboard deck is made from aluminium. Structurally, the keyboard deck and bottom panels are fine, but the top panel is where you may be concerned. It doesn't require a heavy press to flex the panel, which isn't helped by the gap close to the hinges. While I don't think it's going to damage the display if you place it into a backpack, it still makes the Omen feel a bit flimsy, especially when many gaming laptops utilizes metal top panels. Cooling is one area which HP has heavily revised on this new Omen 15. A good chunk of the back panel is vented to promote maximum airflow through the bottom of the chassis. In addition, there are exhaust outlets at the back that stretches almost the entire width of the laptop. An extra exhaust vent is also present on the right hand side, but I didn't notice too much heat blowing onto my hand while using a mouse. There's also mini perforations on the top of the keyboard deck to aid additional cooling. All this means that the Omen 15 with a Ryzen 5 4600H and GTX 1660 Ti can run relatively cool. During gameplay, you can expect temperatures around the low 80s for the CPU and mid 70s for the GPU. Although it's impossible to make the system go completely fanless, it is possible to ramp the fans all the way up. This reduces CPU temperatures by about 8 degrees and GPU temps by about 5 degrees during gaming. Turning on max fans also increases fan noise by roughly 8 decibels. Additionally, there are four mini LEDs placed around the two fans. The colors correspond to the colors chosen with the keyboard lighting, although these LEDs are not really noticeable even during use in the dark. Performance of this lower tier Omen 15 is reasonably solid. While it's not the most powerful configuration, most games are playable on maximum settings. I have a more in-depth video covering performance on various games which you can find by tapping the eye on the top right. As expected, the weaker CPU and GPU combinations do not yield the most impressive benchmark scores, but they're not a million miles behind, especially considering the price difference. The 144Hz display is very decent too. The high refresh rate is pretty noticeable if you're coming from a 60Hz screen, but more so in Windows UI than in gaming, as the GTX 1660 Ti isn't powerful enough to take advantage of the higher refresh in most games. If you need it, the screen is able to fully tilt flat. The keyboard is an area where I had mixed feelings. As a touch typist, I found that I was making mistakes very often with the Omen 15. Maybe it's the fact that there is a condensed number pad, so the rest of the keyboard is shifted to accommodate for that. But nonetheless, out of the laptops I've used, I found the Omen the hardest to adjust to. Besides that, the keystrokes are nice and positive. This variant has three zones of RGB lighting, with one mini zone for the WASD keys, but it doesn't feature any animations, so the lights are all static. Here's how the keyboard sounds. The matte touchpad gives you precise gestures and tracking. I also really enjoyed the more muted sound from the button mechanism, although the button presses did feel a bit mushy. The I.O. on the Omen 15 is well-rounded. On the right, you have one Thunderbolt 3 port, a mini display port, and two Type-A USB 3.0s. The left features the charging port, full-size Ethernet port, Type-A USB 3.0, HDMI 2.0A, headphone jack, and a much-appreciated SD card slot. I expected more from the Bang & Olufsen branded speakers, but the truth is, they are average at best. The downward facing speakers lacked a bit of clarity and volume, so you may need to crank the sound higher to reach the same levels as other laptops. This is how they sound.
Getting inside the Omen 15 is very easy. Removing these 8 screws reveals a neatly designed internal. Almost everything is symmetrical, which makes it look quite satisfying and is easily one of the tidiest designs I've seen. There are two slots for M.2 storage, which although isn't explicitly stated by HP, should be able to accommodate up to 2TB each. Two slots of memory is also easily accessible, which you can upgrade to 32GB dual channel. The Intel Wi-Fi 6 card is also upgradable if needed in the future. One of the main reasons why I went with an AMD model is because of their efficiency, and I'm pleased to share that the battery life is pretty stunning for a gaming laptop. It is easily able to do over 6 hours of YouTube playback and web surfing. This is how the webcam looks and how the microphone sounds. Unfortunately, the Omen 15 comes pre-installed with a bit of bloatware, which is something that I didn't find on the other gaming laptops I've tested. I understand it's not much of a hassle to remove them, but I still appreciate a clean system right out of the box. To conclude, with the new minimalistic redesign and the freedom of choice between an Intel or AMD, it makes the Omen 15 a unique prospect in a market full of Intel-dominated gaming laptops. For the price of the AMD variants, it's hard to think of many laptops which can compete in terms of performance and value. Like with other laptops, there are some shortcomings to be aware of, the top panel flex being the most obvious one. For photographers or content creators, the Omen features an SD card slot which not many gaming laptops can brag. Combined with the fantastic battery life, the 2020 HP Omen 15 is a very well-rounded laptop and is seriously worth considering. I hope you enjoyed my review of the Omen 15. If you would like to see more future reviews, subscribing and supporting my channel will help keep the content coming. Cheers!